In this lesson, you will get a general overview of the home screen, where you can create new documents, see recent documents, access tutorials, and import and delete files. We will also look at the application settings, where you can customize the interface so that it works for you. We'll look at pencil settings, brush settings, a help section, as well as gestures for touch screens and shortcuts for everyone. Ready to take a look at the Fresco interface? Well, let's do that, and let's start with the home screen. Once you've downloaded Fresco and then opened it up, the first thing you're going to see is called the home screen. And you want to make sure to be on the home tab here, so have that highlight it. And what you'll see is an area where you can start new documents. And here are some previous size documents that I had used earlier, plus an ability to create a custom size document. And then down below are recent documents that I have been working on. Now, your home screen area with recent documents is going to look different than mine because we'll probably be different working on different projects at different times. So this will always be changing and updating. Then occasionally you'll see new and upcoming features that Adobe is presenting for you um, to take a look at up here in the home screen. Also on the home screen are some other tabs here on the left hand side. For example, here's Learn, where you can find short little tutorials to tell you about different kinds of things that you can do with Fresco. Discover is different artists working in Fresco that are sharing you their work and their process so you can see what other people are doing. And this is always changing. Then there's your files, and your files um, are being stored as you make them on Fresco. They're being stored up on the cloud, but later you can save them anywhere that you want to. Here are files that are shared with you with perhaps other team members or artists that you're working with if you happen to be interested in working in a collaborative way. And this is where your deleted files are kept. Now you can click on the three little dots next to each file and it'll give you an option to either restore that file or to permanently delete it. Now if you're running out of space on the cloud you could go ahead and decide which files you want to permanently delete and that would give you some more space. And then below here is a little create new button and that's where we can create new documents and also below that is import and open so if you with import and open if you have um, other files from other programs you want to open especially um, Photoshop and uh, things like sketch you can open them up within Fresco and continue to work on them using all the Fresco tools. And that's pretty awesome. I'm going to go back to the Home tab here. And then, last but not least, there is a little symbol here with your cloud. And it looks like, oh, there's an error in my syncing. Usually it says it's syncing. It's because I'm working on two different computers. <laughs> so I'm not going to worry about that right now. Um, and then over here is your profile where you can click on it and there's a bunch of different things inside here. So um, there's, it, this is called application settings and there's some general settings for um, changing the look of your interface. So you could have like a light appearance, which is what I have, or you could have a dark appearance. Um, and you can set your toolbar to the left or to the right according to what feels right to you. And then there's just a whole bunch of other settings in here to be aware of. Um, but what I do want to show you is, um, let's see here, there's input where you can adjust your stylus pressure of your pencil. 
And so I can press on that and I can say, um, oh, I have a very light touch, so I'm going to move it over here, or I have a very heavy touch. Test it out, see if it works. No, that doesn't work for me, <laughs> but light does. And then once you have it the way you like it, this is uh, this is your little test area. I'm going to go down a little. And you can kind of adjust it with this graph as well. That feels great. Then you can say, done. So that's one of the many places where you can adjust the stylus pressure. And um, I'm going to show you one other thing that I love, which is the brushes. For the brush preview, when you're painting and so forth, you can choose how things look. Paint can just suddenly come out of your pencil tool, or you could have a brush stamp, which is what I have, which will show me the size and shape of the brush that I'm painting with. Um, I suggest you maybe try that and see if you like it. There's also a help section where you can learn about all the different gestures that you can use with your touch screen. For those of you who are, who are using a touch screen, for example, to undo is a two finger tap, to redo is three fingers. Um, let's see, what if you want to zoom and rotate? Um, what sort of gestures can you use to do that? like pinch or pull or swipe. Um, this tells you what all the different hand gestures you can use. And um, so there's few gestures. There's also a place to find that with inside a document. And then there's keyboard shortcuts. For those of you who don't use touch screens, you can do the same thing, but you'll just use keyboard shortcuts. And many of these work for whether you're on a touch screen or not. Okay, so there you go. There's the home screen and all the things to be looking for.